Hello, it's Scott Wittenberg with Synapse Global Corporation. Today we are going to teach you how to set up a domain-based multi-tenant blue box. Multi-tenant allows multiple users to use a single installation of blue box. We're assuming that you're either renting a blue box server from Synapse Global or you've successfully installed blue box on your own server. For this tutorial we are assuming that you have a domain name and that you can set an A name record for that domain name. In this tutorial we're using a sample domain name yourdomain.com. We're going to use main.yourdomain.com as the main account and tenant1.yourdomain.com as the first tenant account. Both of the domains are pointed at the main Bluebox server IP address. When you're logged into Bluebox as the main administrator, you'll see a screen like this. Let's get started. First, click on Organization. Now click on Location Manager. Now click on Edit. The Domain Name field is the field that we're concerned about. This field should be your main domain name, in this case main.yourdomain.com. Once you've made that change, scroll down and click Save. Now click on the System tab and Account Manager. Now click Add Account. This is going to be the Tenant Account. So we'll name this Tenant1. The type is standard. Both the contexts are currently correct. The location information will change the name to tenant1. The domain, that needs to be changed. tenant1.yourdomain.com. The primary account admin, this is going to be the person that's the administrator for this tenant1 account. The email address. This is going to be the email address for this account. Uh, this will also be the login name for this account. Now we set a password for this. Obviously set a secure password, not a simple password like I'm using here. And click Save. Now there's one more place that we need to check. Click Connectivity. Click SIP Interface. We need to check each of these interfaces and make sure that they're set up for multi-tenant. So starting with the first one, click on Edit, scroll down, find Force Registration Domain. That should be set as multi-tenant. Find Default Incoming Context. That should also be set as multi-tenant. Now click Save. Now we want to check each one of these SIP interfaces. So I will go through each one and make sure they're correct. We'll scroll down, find force registration domain, multi-tenant, default incoming context, multi-tenant, save, there's one more, edit, multi-tenant, multi-tenant, and save. This is currently set up for multi-tenant and under system account manager you can see the tenant account we've created now you can log out and log back in using the information that we used when we set up the tenant account. So click Log Out. Use the email address that was associated with the tenant account and your secure password. Click Log In. And now you're logged in as the tenant. You can create devices, trunks, users, etc. All as this user independent of the main Bluebox account. Remember, when registering extensions, devices, or anything else that needs an IP address or domain name, you will need to use the correct domain name. So in this example, Tenant1 will want to use tenant1.yourdomain.com in place of the server's IP address when registering a soft phone, configuring a device, and so on. To create more tenants, simply log in as the main administrator and repeat the process by adding another account in the account manager. Each tenant needs to have their own domain name. So your next tenant would be something like tenant2.yourdomain.com. That's all there is to it. You've now set up multiple tenants in Bluebox.